Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm here to bring you the match preview for Everton against Burnley on Boxing Day. Uh, obviously, a repeat of a fixture that was played last year. Um, that was at Burnley. Everton won 5-2 in a strange run of form uh, just after the derby, I think. But this time it's at Goodison Park and it will be the first match in the reign of Carlo Ancelotti. So we're all very much looking forward to that one. Um, interesting to see who's going uh, who's gonna to line up in in Ancelotti's first um, starting eleven, it'll be interesting to see what system he goes with. Um, obviously, Duncan Ferguson's been going with a four four two recently, uh, quite a lot of the time anyway. And Carlo Ancelotti, interestingly, ran with the same formation. Jordan is um, this season at Napoli, so it'll be interesting to see whether Ancelotti, Ancelotti goes with the same formation as as Duncan Ferguson has, and whether he keeps the same players in there as Duncan did. Um, It'll be interesting. Obviously, Alex Awobi came off injured in the last game, so he'll likely be out of the starting eleven. Maybe Bernard to come back in. Obviously, the midfield's considerably weakened at the moment, and it's added to that with the injuries of um, not just the central midfielders, but the likes of Awobi and Walcott as well. It's not looking great. Uh, and I know uh, Ancelotti's going to take time to find his feet, especially with this injury crisis at the moment. It's difficult for any manager. Obviously, Ferguson having to play Holgate in central midfield as well. But it will be interesting to see whether he goes with that again because uh, there's not much else choice. Obviously, Fabian Delfs um, played last week and got considerable minutes under his belt, hopefully match fitness to be ready for this one, to line up alongside probably Tom Davis in midfield. But Burnley will likely go for a 4-4-2 as well. Uh, obviously, that's what their prefer preferred formation is and has been throughout probably all or most of the time. Um, they've been back in the Premier League, obviously, structured team, physical side, uh, two big forwards in Ashley Barnes and Chris Wood. Yeah, Chris Wood's been doing quite well this season. He's had quite a few goals, so he'll be one to watch out for and um, to keep me maybe Yeri Mina to keep tabs on. Uh, so they're a, they're a physical side, and they've, they've obviously got they've got a talent in the midfield as well. They've got a young star coming through in uh, Dwight McNeil, a young winger who's looking to get on the scene with England pretty soon, and he deserves it as well. When I've seen him play, he's been very impressive on the left wing. So whether he'll be up against either. Seamus Coleman, who was on the bench last week, or Gibral Sidibe will be interesting. I know Sidibe played quite well last week, and I'm hoping he'll keep his place in the side, but it's up to Ancelotti, uh, which right back he prefers. That'll be another interesting one in terms of his selection um, tomorrow. But yeah, it's obviously going to be a difficult game. Burnley always is a difficult game. They're a structured side, difficult to break down. Typical Sean Dyke. Uh, he, obviously, he was mentioned a couple of times in uh, our last few searches for a new manager, but it will be a difficult game and difficult to break down. Uh, Burnley have had a couple of wins, a couple of 1-0 wins in the last couple of games over uh, Bournemouth and Newcastle. It's been after a 5-0 defeat to Tottenham uh, when Jose Mourinho just came in. So, But they have had a couple of wins since that, a couple of 1-0 wins. Obviously, quite good at grinding out the 1-0 wins and just staying uh, quite structured. And It'll be... A couple of players will be coming back, and um, we we'll, might see the likes of Adel Lennon and then Michael Keane will be playing against his former side. So, be interesting to see how that one goes. Uh, but yeah, obviously difficult game against a team who's just won two on the bounce. But we're not on a bad run of form ourselves. Obviously, we were unbeaten in normal time under Duncan Ferguson in some really difficult games to go against Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United, and Leicester in the cup. So. Not on a bad run of form ourselves, and obviously there's a buzz around the club at the moment with uh, Carlo Ancelotti just come in. The fans are very excited about that, and I'm sure players are as well. And they'll be giving us all, giving their all for the new manager. Uh, hope for, hope for, hoping for returns to form for some players who were out of form. I do think Luca Dean's been pretty poor, to be honest, in the last few weeks after an incredible season last season. So I do hope he can find his feet and come back to the the form he showed so well last year under uh, Marco Silva, but. He hasn't been great this season and hoping Carlo Ancelotti will be able to get uh, the best out of last year's player of the season. So it'll be interesting to see uh, Boxing Day 3pm at Goodison Park. We will wel welcome Burnley. Uh, let us know your score predictions. I'll just add mine at the end. I'm hoping for a 2-1 win for Everton. I do think uh, Burnley will prove difficult with the physical forwards. Obviously we've found it difficult at times under uh, previous managers. Certain previous managers from uh, set pieces which Burnley are particularly strong at. So... I'm hoping for a win though. Um, Carlo Ancelotti coming against coming up against the Burnley team. He, he's always going to be hoping for a win. He is a winner, and I'm hoping he brings a winning mentality and the results to come with that to Goodison Park. Starting with Burnley, I go to some Park on Boxing Day. So uh, let us know your predictions as well. Um, let us know what you think, um, team selection wise, in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching, and join us next time on the Toffee Blues.